YT Dan Duel Links is brought to you by dank duelists like you. Become a YouTube member to never miss. What's going on my boys? YT Dan back again with another video. And right now I want to talk to you guys about the new set that has just released. Um, they came out with a bunch of new cards, those new uh, math mechs, monsters, also those retro cards and other things. And I'm going to be bringing you videos just like this to talk about it. This is more like post-dual, post-stream clarity. Um, and I want to talk a little bit more about the deck list and talk a little bit more about the archetype. So if you like these type of videos, these discussions type videos, help me reach my goal of 50,000 subs by the end of this year and crush that subscribe button. I'm gonna be live streaming and uploading content more frequently for the next 12 weeks. And if we can hit some big major goals during those 12 weeks, that really will impact my future activity on YouTube, just saying. But anyway, I wanna talk about the math mix, my boy. The math mix is an interesting archetype. I really find like the duels with the math mechs and i really find that the gameplay with the math mechs can be fun and interesting but i really do understand now more than ever that there is something lacking with this deck now initially when i first started off my first idea was to run the math mechs and use some sort of skill like a Roma strategy to basically cheat the top card of my deck so that I could make predictions on how to play around certain strategies. But the problem is this deck does not have very strong survivability and what I found through those struggles is that the Vylon monster that um, I was actually using is the only level four monster that's worth using as a level four tuner with the math mech cards because this card creates a unique um, board where you can summon um, your math mech synchro, equip it with the Vylon card, and it can boost its attack up to 3,500. Now that's pretty good, but it's damage step only. And then also um, you have to blow your normal summon for that strategy. To avoid blowing your normal summon, you can use a spell like Unexpected Die. But what I found in using that, it's pretty much uh, lackluster because the effect of the Math Mess Synchro goes off after it destroys a monster. And because it goes off after it destroys a monster, more than likely you'll never get a chance to do that. In a meta where you can summon Sun Saga and set to back row, in a meta where if you're playing something like Triple D, you can start off with three monsters, one of them being 6,000 attack and continue your um, aggressive assault. And in a meta where um, you can pretty much OTK with almost any deck and there's even random Neos and Neos Fusion running around, it makes it really hard to play something like Math Mix because it's similar to uh, the Fire King strategy. It needs one turn to pop off after your opponent does something to it or after you set up your field so that on the next turn you can win. It relies too heavily on your opponent's actions, unlike other decks, which do what they want. Um, in a meta where you can use stuff like Cyber Dragon Core and um, the Cyber Dragon Trap Card to destroy all the cards, it's just not a viable option. Now, what I found to be the most interesting, the most fun that I've had with that deck was actually playing Math Mix using what grows in the graveyard, using the plant normal summoning, the, the plant tuner that's a level four really helps out because this plant tuner allows you to bring Dark Verger out from the grave. So now you can use cards like Belize the Squad and in combination with the trap card for the Math Mix, that's pretty much a really strong field for control. However, if you don't draw one of the two Math Mix that you have it, the, available, there's no other option except for using something like UFO Turtle. And personally, I don't wanna run any type of recruiters because recruiters don't necessarily work out in an OTK meta where you're using stuff like Blackwing and uh, Dark Magician and everything else that doesn't bother with attacking or destroying monsters. They're banishing monsters. They're destroying monsters with card effects. 
you're rarely running into a deck that's destroying cards by battle without any type of interruption. So that's just my thoughts on it initially. But as I continue to play with um, the Math Mech deck, I found that it also struggles against most rogue decks and rogue strategies. Because rogue decks and rogue strategies have a various um, array of cards and how they use them, it's really hard to play around a lot of different strategies. And Math Mechs only have one thing to it, the gimmick on boosting their attack points, and then also the gimmick on reducing attack points. Then you can actually utilize the trap card to destroy cards, but you can only destroy one card. And then you have to throw away the entire trap. So you can't really get the effect fully of the trap card like you can do with other cards that are continuous and stay on the field. This card is a one use type of thing, but it has a little bit of versatility to it. But the problem is you won't, you'll rarely be attacked because people know that attacking into that is not gonna be beneficial. Also, in a world where everyone's playing Cosmic Cyclone, that back row is pretty much useless. If you're only running one back row or two back row type cards, if that's more than likely on your first opening turn, you're gonna play your cards and set one back row. That's always gonna get hit with Cosmic Cyclone. So unless you're playing like Sheer Nui, where your deck is mostly back row, then how do you guarantee that you'll have the cards in hand and how do you survive? You have to run cards like Kite Roid and Spear Karibo just to make it to the next turn. And honestly, my personal opinion, that's just not good enough. All right, here we go. All right, this is what I'm talking about. Now, if we can draw the plant tuner, that would be even better. But this is what I'm talking about. Cause now, it, now it's almost sheer Nui style. If I draw that plant tuner, that's gonna change everything. How about it, yo? And it's also it's funny. This thing is never destroyed. Like people like. I think it's so funny, like people do not pop this thing by battle at all. Like not even by any means, like no one's hitting this guy by battle. Once per turn. I'm coming over there, boy. All right, let's do it. stuff get really scary I can use Valista squad but I do have my mathematic induction metaphys oh hell no oh, oh, oh. no 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 that's fine man you can have that shit you can have that no way, sir. No way. No way. No way. Hell yeah. Yes. Finally. The breakthrough I've been looking for. Yes. And with this, your anime cheeks will be clapped. Attack my beast. Oh, that's fine. Give me that kite roid, boy. Give me that juicy kite roid. You won't escape. You won't escape. Give me that kite roid. I have complete control. Complete control. Yes. You won't get away. You won't get away with your crimes anymore. Criminal scum. I've calculated up your doom. Yes. You won't get away with it anymore. Never again. Never. 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 Yes. This is the power we needed, boys. L Games. Oh, what, welcome back to the stream, my boy. Yes, this is the power we needed. Yes. Oh, it's witchcraft. Nice. 
Nice to fight witchcraft. Witchcraft. Uh, it's it's witchcraft. witchcraft. Prism. Super equip. Card set. Turn trigger. Here we go. Here we go. This is what we needed. Come on, play those witchcrafters. It's witchcraft. And they about to catch this mathematic induction. Play that witchcraft beast and catch my induction. None. I'm milling, dog. I'm searching, dog. I hate this shit. After playing with this, I hate it. I hate it. Grass, too? You're so lucky. You're so talented. You're so talented. You're so talented. You're so good. You're really good at this game. I admire your skill. I really do. What? He's picking up? Oh, he used <laughs> Omega. Oof. Omega. Oof. He has a control deck in TCG too. So it towers and grinds and grinds you out and down until you're tired and it kills you in one turn. Well, I mean, I guess that's true because it's basically creating an advantage over time by whittling down your resources, but still still that kind of I mean I don't I I personally don't like that kind of gameplay he can discard it if he gets the opportunity to but he might not you said this is the part where you scoop and block him damn it my boy yeah <laughs> <laughs> This is the part where I scoop and block <laughs> you madman. This is the, <laughs> now this is the part where I scoop and block. <laughs> Synchro Summo. <laughs> That's hilarious. This is the part where I scoop and block. <laughs> scoop and block you. I'll never play you again, you maniac. It's in phase. It's in phase. All right, kill it. Use your spell card, save it. All right, I'm hoping that I can catch him off guard because if he doesn't, like, I think because the effect will go off in damage step, he might not be able to respond, I think. But I don't know. Dodo. Another one. The battling monster. Oh, so he can give it to this thing too? Fuck, man. Forty five hundred, man. It might not be enough to kill this thing. One thousand, two thousand. 3,000. <sighs> Damn it, man. This is irritating. Actually, something like this makes me wish I had a Lava Golem in this deck. Uh, die for me, please. All right, let's check off the board. Come on, let's go. Kamikaze striking, fine. Oh, he can reveal and boost. One, 2,000. Mm. Oh no, and then he's gonna pick up two more spells. <sighs> Damn it. So that's 3,000, okay. At least 3,000 points. Yes. Summon. Dark Verger, Synchro Summon. Oh, actually, sh I just realized he can still negate the f out of my effect. I gotta play this off. 
I, re I just forgot he can negate my effect as soon as I activate. So, damn, man. I'm attacking this thing. Five. It's one. Yes. Be gone. Be gone, foul creep. Not me. Need to negate it. My effect. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> Damn. I was hoping you forget. I was hoping he'd forget. I was like, shit. This is so stupid, man. This is so annoying. This card is keeping me alive, though. This is so stupid. Yeah, he has to discard a spell to do it. So, you know. But I was hoping that he didn't do it because he would keep it in his hand, thinking he would be able to stop the monster, but then realize that, oh, too late. I was hoping he'd make a play mistake. But he did not, so. <laughs> I was relying on a coin toss. God damn, man. Damn it, dog. Ah. I couldn't get the machine angel ritual. I mean, get him before he got the second machine angel. Shit. Damn it, man. God, man, I hate this fucking deck. It's so stupid. It's so cheesy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mathematically defeated. <laughs> so I appreciate y'all for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you guys can enjoy um, this type of content and I'll be back with more content just like this in the future. So as always, my boys, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and keep it dank. Then we'll be running with the lions, lions. Oh,